Hurricane Ian. Now, this is a, a tricky one. Uh, let's talk about its effect on college football for this weekend. Now, obviously, it is supposed to hit Florida on, I think, Thursday morning, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and I swear to God, I'm going to get my allergy medicine this afternoon. Um, it was on back order, but it'll be here. And that way, maybe I will quit scratching my nose in the middle of the live show. But regardless, looking at the hurricane track, it's supposed to hit just south of Tampa, uh, just south of Bradenton. Uh, looks like it's going to be, let's see, around Inglewood, Northport, etc., just south of Sarasota. And by Saturday, so this, of course, the 29th is on Thursday. It'll be in Orlando, a direct shot on Disney World. Not great. Um, and then you will have, da, 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 it goes up. Let's zoom back out here so that you can see. Um, around Columbia on October, so that's on what, Sunday? I don't know, I guess that's on Saturday, October 1st. Uh, Charleston, Myrtle Beach, all that, you're going to get a lot of rain, you're going to get a lot of wind, all that kind of stuff. What games are being moved, what is being talked about, Reddit CFB has done a great job kind of putting this stuff together. Florida and Eastern Washington, that game is being moved from Saturday to Sunday at noon. Uh, South Carolina, South Carolina State is being moved from Saturday to Thursday evening at 7 p.m. Uh, Alabama A&M, Bethune-Cookman is staying the same, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, uh, We're waiting to see what happens with Florida State and Wake Forest. Um, that's going to be an interesting one. Uh, I think FAU is already going out to uh, North Texas, so I, I don't imagine we'll see much of a change there. Uh, South Florida, which is based in Tampa, uh, they... They were supposed to host ECU this weekend. That game has now been moved to Florida Atlantic. Uh, so they're moving it across the uh, the state. Uh, pretty smart move to me. Uh, FIU, uh, I mean, that's a night game on Saturday night. I don't imagine we will see anything change with that because it doesn't look like this thing's going to hit Miami. So the only issue would be getting New Mexico State there. But I don't think you're going to have a problem with that. So uh, other than that, I mean... You got Warner and Weber International canceled. Uh, I just I, I don't think we're going to see a ton as far as now. What what you will see more than likely, uh, UCF is hosting SMU on Saturday. I think the cleanup is going to force them to either move that or change the date. So I'm not sure because it looks like it's going to hit Orlando uh, as a hurricane or close to it. Probably, it's still a tropical storm at that point. Uh, but it's going to hit that on Friday. I don't know. I guess that'll still be on Thursday. It's going to be very interesting to keep an eye on. Obviously, I'm not a meteorologist. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with this. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll talk about it more on Thursday. If anything changes, obviously, we'll report it back here. But uh, but keep an eye on it. That, uh, that Reddit CFB uh, Hurricane Ian update or Ian, or whatever they want to call it. Uh, go and check that out. Really, really insightful, super in-depth. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.